Let's talk about scalping Betfair and the biggest problem people face with it, which of course is win, 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 and then a big loss. A question received earlier by Stephen says, I average about £3 a race through scalping, but find some places like Dundalk will wipe me out for three to four races profit in one go. Do you know why this is? Cheers for the question, Stephen. Now, obviously this is quite a common concept, um, and it applies to scalping, better fair, more than anywhere else, I'd say. Um, and a lot of it comes down to situational type stuff. So you're already aware of that, I can see from your question. It's great to see that you're making three quid a race on average. It's a good place to start. Um, and you, you've noticed it at Dundalk by the sounds of things. Um, now Dundalk is typically a venue where the markets aren't that liquid, um, excluding big events. Uh, and they're usually at uh, unsociable hours as well, I think it's probably fair to say. I mean, I'm fully aware there's a lot of all-weather racing at Dundalk on the evening in the week, usually on like a Friday or a Thursday or, or whenever it may be, particularly over the winter. Um, but Dundalk is probably one of the worst places for scalping. It's not that it's impossible, um, it's a case of it's just not as preferable as, as some of the others. So, you might want to skip the whole scalping thing at Dundalk altogether, um, or you might want to be you know, just sort of drill down and, and narrow it down to a very small window where you might want to scout the market. And you probably want to do it with an opinion as well. It's not going to be one of those situations which actually, I mean, you commented on that post there on the blog um, where I speak about and the price doesn't have to move to make a profit, scalp it. So um, it's all to do with turnover in general with trading and limiting risk, but with scalping it's even more so, which is why I think people experience this common problem of having a win, 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 and then a big loss, because, well, there's uh, there's another part to that, which is obviously the self-control, which scalping just requires bags of self-control and, and a bit of confidence in what you're doing, because, you know, there's no point trying to win one and two ticks at a time all afternoon long, and then when it goes wrong, sitting and letting it go six or seven against you, it just doesn't make sense. Um, but there are situations which you've highlighted there, like Dundalk, which are more likely to actually produce that kind of scenario. Um, so you want to skip them or, or tone it down, lower the stakes, bring yourself into a smaller window for your scalping. Um, when the market's more fluid, that's the best time to be scalping, like I said in that, that blog post there. Um, and then if you, if you focus only on the, the main events where they're highly liquid, and you know that you can scalp, you can then start to do the opposite thing and start pushing your stakes up, which is what obviously everyone wants to do. So I've said time and again, and you know, it's not, not like it's a secret, but Channel 4, Saturday afternoon is perfect time to scalp, and it's maximum turnover on the week usually. Um, but the, the worst thing it can, it can come to is, is the, the self-control problem, and obviously, uh, well not maybe obviously for all the viewers watching this, but there's this urge, once you're winning regularly, as you are, there Stephen, £3 a race, that's, you know, that's fair enough, like, over the space of the week, that soon adds up. Um, it, the urge is to want to trade everything, because you know you've got an edge and you know you're profitable, which is great. But what you also need to accept is there's not going to be that opportunity every single time, and they are different situations to, to be applying that, that method to, and, and you want to build up and get extra edges and all that sort of stuff. To, to get maximum profitability, but if you're focusing purely on scalping, you might want to narrow down the windows and the times and places that you scalp at. It makes sense, I mean, it's common sense, right, that you know, if, if it works because of the, the fluid markets, if you're waiting to Dundalk on a Friday evening, where quite frankly, the rest of the world's out on the beer, you know, myself included probably, but uh, if everyone else is out on the beer and they're not trading, and there's very little turnover, then you're gonna have a hard time scalping that market. Um, and a lot of the time, the key to scalping is not only self-control, but picking the right situations to do it in. So uh, hopefully that answers your question there, Stephen. I'll probably skip Dundalk, as I might also, you know, maybe Wolverhampton, particularly later in the evening, because let's face it, when it's nine o'clock in the evening, there's not as many people betting. That you know, they might be going to bed, they might, you know, whatever, getting ready for work the next day, all sorts of stuff like that. The, the average person sort of working nine to five. So if if you're scalping, then you don't want to be doing it well outside them on social hours, and uh, you know, you might even want to treat yourself and just go on the beer instead.